Okay y'all, I thought I would do like a little nightcap with y'all. I made myself a little mocktail. It's really good. I used cherry juice. This is 100% cherry juice. This is really good if you want to wind down and you don't want to drink. You want to cut back on wine, whatever the case may be cherry juice is a great substitute um and then i mixed it with this olipop which is a probiotic drink it's really good for gut health it has some fiber in there and this is the lemon lime flavor and then i just put it in this cute little glass my dad got me and then i have like hello kitty ice going in here so that's what i'm drinking if you need to pause this and grab yourself a drink just go ahead and do that and then make sure you let me know what you are drinking for this nightcap i thought that like sometimes i just want to come and i want to talk to you all and i want to show you things i want to change how hauls go because sometimes i feel like I have mixed feelings about hauls. Like I want them to be more conversational. I want them to be more intertwined, like naturally and just vibing with y'all and not like, here, this is what I bought. This is what else I got. Like, you know what I mean? And I was hunting for a couple of these items. So I'm really excited to show you all, but I thought we would just make it a nightcap. I do have on pajamas under this robe. Um, they're just a little saucy, so. We got the pink little silk robe going on and I'm sitting at my vanity so let's get into some items that I got the first thing that I want to talk about though is this Hello Kitty Zara perfume this is the new release this one is called magic rainbow the little packaging is so cute like it's iridescent and then it has like little I don't know if y'all can see like little um Hello Kitty is riding on a unicorn, so that's really cute. The notes, I just got my iPad so that I can look up what the notes are for you. The notes are, it says, a bright fragrance with a floral bouquet and fruity wittiness, a delicious creamy cotton candy note with hints of pear and orange blossom. So I'm going to tell you what I get because I really don't like even if I even when I let this dry down I don't get the cotton candy and I was most excited for that note and I don't get it but I still do like this I definitely get the orange I definitely get the pear I definitely get what they mean by like fruity woodiness um I think it has like a floral kind of background but it's more like fruity woody pear orange forward um but i was really hoping that i would pick up the cotton candy notes in here i'm not picking it up i want to pair this with the bath of body works cotton candy lotion and then the body fantasies cotton candy body spray i think that would be a really good mix so I got this. I definitely think that it's worth picking up. The packaging is gorgeous. And if you like the first one, I think you would like this one too. So got this. Um, I wish I would have saved the box for my last Zara Hello Kitty perfume, but I don't think that I did. But yeah, I'm glad that I picked this up. And this is only $13.90. Um, US dollars so $13.90 and I think that's a really good price for a perfume let me show y'all <laughs> so I shared this and I did go back and purchase it so this is the Barbie ramen bundle so what's really cute about this I want to take some more pictures of it before I take it out of the box but I was kind of like looking at it in the store and uh, I want to I'm going to take it out to show you all because the bowl has different images around the bowl so 
super cute um and then it is a set so it comes with your ramen bowl your spoon and then chopsticks i'm gonna take it out for you because i want y'all to see i got when i shared this on my instagram story so many people dm'd me like talking about how cute this bowl was i'm trying not to mess this up because i do want to put it back in here but first of all the chopsticks are pink they're pink and then I'll show you the spoon because the spoon is like tucked away back here. And then the bottom of the spoon says Barbie. Isn't that cute? Super cute. The spoon, I believe, is white. I have my pink lights on. So now look, look at this bowl. Okay. So it's Barbie's head. It's. 1959 on the side and then the barbie oops did i skip yeah the barbie like little logo here her car the barbie dream car and then a palm tree this is so cute so cute like what this is so cute i cannot wait to like eat ramen out of this bowl so cute i'll put that back together a little bit later let me take a sip of my drink mm -hmm. that is so good i hope the swallowing noise wasn't loud but also from five below i really wanted this conversation heart tumbler valentine's day is like my favorite holiday aesthetic um yeah so this conversation heart tumbler is so cute it says best friends bff bestie all over it in these cute pastel colors i can't wait to like carry this to work or just on the go with me this is so cute so 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 cute and i believe that both the bowl and the tumbler were five dollars the bowl might have been 5.55 but i'm pretty sure they both were five dollars i think and then hubby found me this hello kitty gift set That has been going around and it has a notebook in it i don't know if you can see the notebook in the back and then it has the coffee cup i think this would be really cute for me to take to work and then the sticker set there's also a hello kitty pencil pouch it's so cute like it's so cute Every girl, every Hello Kitty girl knows that this is adorable. And then it has this little box as well. And the box just is so cute. It's like a little Hello Kitty chocolate box over here that I think is so pretty. As well as that on the side. Yeah, so I'm so glad that I found that because I was on... I really wasn't on the hunt. I knew that I wanted it. And then I asked hubby to go to Walmart to see if they had it. He ended up getting another one, but it wasn't this one. There's one with a sports bottle, but it has like Kurumi on the front. And that's not the one I wanted. Thank you, hubby. And hubby understood and he took it back to get me the one that I wanted, which was this one. So that was super, super, super exciting. Um, I'm so happy that I was able to find this tumbler. They also have um, the shorts. The Five Below has Conversation Heart shorts that look like this. And I've been to both my Five Below's multiple times and they don't have them out. 
so i'm gonna keep checking i did check on five below online they didn't have them either so uh i have to keep trying because i do want to get those shorts they're so cute they're just like um pajama shorts so yeah another thing that i wanted to talk about why i have you here is my nail journey y'all i'm still struggling with like not doing my nails i have the time frame that i want to go in my head this is still that opi red polish i think i actually have it in here i'll show you so i think it was robin cookie that asked me like how i liked it and honestly so this you're supposed to continue to layer like every day to build up your nail strength i think that i made it like five days and every day there was a part of my nail that chipped with this and this is opi this is like 20 dollars. okay so i didn't like that and taking off that many layers of polish was difficult this got like all over my fingers i didn't like that part but i do like the color i like the color and i want to try to give it another try because when i did it the last time i didn't do a top coat so i actually went to tj maxx because i was like i am not buying this at a non-discounted price i went to tj maxx and i got the top coat so this is opi top coat because i'm like same brand to try it again and use a top coat so that's what i'm doing and we'll see how i feel about it i don't know that i'm gonna layer it every day i might because i want to follow the instructions and like do what it says but i don't know but i'm trying it with top coat this time and i actually like how my nails look they look very shiny let's see so they look very shiny. I'm still working on my nail polish, my paint game. But yeah, so that's how I feel about that. Um, We'll see y'all. I really miss having my nails done. But I'm trying to do the healthy real nail thing. And we'll just have to see how it goes. Y'all, all the times I've kicked my cats out when i'm doing like videos and right now both of them are in here quiet asleep on my floor not bothering anything so i should give them more credit but anyway let me know if you'll be trying this mocktail out also let me know if you'll be picking up any of these items that i mentioned and yeah this was my first little nightcap and I already have an idea for my second one and it's going to be a little bit juicy. I'm going to bring Hubby on and we're going to talk about something a little bit, a little bit juicy. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next one.